I find it remarkable how much Jack Ryan sounds like Jack Reacher, you know, two kind of spy-ish guys in movies. Anyways, this is my review for Jack Ryan's Shadow Recruit. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit stars Chris Pine, Kira Knightley, Kenneth Branagh, and Kevin Costner, and it's basically the origin story of sorts of CIA agent Jack Ryan. Now, I'm not too familiar with the source material, except that Jack Ryan is a fictional character created by Tom Clancy. I was still looking forward to seeing Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. And to be honest, this movie's odd for many reasons, so please just sit back and hear me out for this review because there's a lot to talk about. First of all, Kenneth Branagh directed and he also starred as the villain in this movie and I gotta say he played a pretty good villain. He always felt grounded with reality and wasn't too over the top and zany and he was also competent behind the camera. The action and dialogue was all handled in a nice, clean, and precise fashion. Next, I wasn't sure if Chris Pine could carry an entire movie like this on his own. I mean, he does play Captain Kirk in Star Trek, but I feel that in Star Trek he has all of his co-stars to support him. In this movie, he He's pretty much all alone, but I do think he pulls it off, yet I felt that there was something missing, and I think that the problem lies in the script, but we'll get into that later. Kira Knightley played Jack's love interest in the movie, and I thought that she was really good. I liked her character because she wasn't just some stupid damsel in distress. She actually had something to do in the movie, and she was useful. I feel like in movies like this, the girl is always just some stupid person who always gets in trouble, but in Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, that is not the case with Kira Knightley. And as for Kevin Costner, he's awesome. I think he was really good alongside Chris Pine, and I really like seeing him in a movie again. So what I got pretty much is that this movie is trying to be more so of an easygoing thriller that focused on the characters and dialogue than focusing on the big action set pieces. Unfortunately, I don't think that the script allowed this to work. Ultimately, the whole movie just feels quite lifeless, to be honest. The dialogue, I feel, just wasn't clever enough to make for any intense or engaging conversations. I feel that the actors were clearly giving it their all, but it just wasn't enough to save the movie from a bad script. So, in the long run, I feel bad for Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. I think there were some things that it did right, but there was many things that it didn't do right. I hope that the next time around, if there is one, they get a better script. So Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit gets a 2.5 out of 5 stars for me. I enjoyed it, but like I said, it had its problems. So this is Luke Make signing off. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later.